it's very important to check your work and the easiest way to do that is to measure the resistance of a non-soldered coil and we are getting 0.5 ohms and then you will measure your soldered coil the wire extension to make sure that it's very similar it could vary slightly but you don't want to have a drastic difference that'll let you know if you got a good connection the most likely cause if you don't have a good connection is that you didn't get all of the enamel coating the insulation off of the wire before you soldered it so here's a tip on what to set your multimeter at that little omega symbol there is the symbol for ohms and that is the proper setting. My multimeter also has a function to turn on an audible alert there, which I like to use because then you know when it's reading it. So that's just a quick tip on how to use your multimeter. If you found any of this content helpful, might I suggest you hit that like button. So this multimeter has a specific feature that is important for the next step in the process, I will include the link to this multimeter in my uh, comments and, and description because it would make the job a lot harder for me to do it with the existing multimeter I had. This multimeter was cheap, it was less than 20 bucks. So that concludes this video because I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over and over ad nauseum and who wants to watch all that? Next video will be after all this soldering is complete and we start snaking the wires out through the shaft.